If you take a look at the roof of any modern train coach, you'll likely notice sleek, self-contained units mounted on top. This is the Roof Mounted Package Units, RMPUs. Just imagine how these giant machines provide such comfortable temperatures inside the coach. If we open one of these AC units, you'll observe there are six compartments within the RMPU. The left and right sections house an identical set of components. This is the condenser. You'll notice these are located on both sides of the AC, positioned to dissipate heat effectively to the outside. Now, to understand the operational cycle of this AC unit, we begin with the compressor. This component compresses the refrigerant gas, which significantly increases both its pressure and its temperature. This component here is the accumulator. The hot, high-pressure refrigerant gas flows into the condenser coils. As the hotter refrigerant comes into contact with the cooler air, it releases its heat to the outside environment. The high-pressure liquid refrigerant then travels to the dryer. This component's main job is to remove moisture and contaminants from the refrigerant. Then it comes into the expansion valve, sometimes called a thermostatic expansion valve. This valve creates a precise restriction, causing a drop in the pressure of the refrigerant. This sudden pressure drop also causes the temperature of the refrigerant to plummet, making it extremely cold, often well below freezing. Then, the extremely cold, low-pressure mixture of liquid and gas refrigerant flows into the evaporator coils. As the warmer air passes over the cold coils, heat from the air is rapidly absorbed by the refrigerant. As the warm, humid air cools rapidly, moisture in the air condenses on the cold surface of the evaporator coils. After that, the cold air enters or delivered by the blower.